The polls have started opening across the East Coast and the final ballots will be cast today. But will we know tonight who the next leader of the free world will be? Polls open across the tri-state just over two minutes ago. And they will stay open in New Jersey and Connecticut till eight tonight. People in New York, the whole state, have till nine tonight. One thing to look out for this morning is any potential effect the lack of subway service had on polling stations. Those poll workers had to get to work uh, to open the polls, of course. Trains did not start rolling till 5 a.m. Workers were told to take buses instead. It's not just the presidential race, of course. There are plenty of important local races, including the fight for the 11th congressional district right here in the city. And for more on that, Eyewitness News reporter Candace McCown is live in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Candace, we saw the congressman behind you going into a vote just moments ago. Absolutely. Uh, Ken, he's already voted by early, but he's here this morning to encourage voters. We can see him. He's here outside this polling location in Bay Ridge. Now, Max Rose is the incumbent. He's here early this morning, and this is one of many of the races around the country that will determine if Democrats maintain control of the House. And there's been no shortage of attack ads in this race. Now, while the attack ads against the candidates, they are expected to end today. We are... Uh, also knowing that uh, that is because this race is expected to be one that is watched nationally. Max Rose is the Democratic incumbent and this Republican opponent, Nicole Maliotakis, who recently ran for mayor and lost the election, has been painting Rose as an extreme left-leaning candidate who she's associated with Mayor de Blasio, who is unpopular in the Staten Island part of this district, so much so that Rose produced an ad calling de Blasio the worst mayor ever. The two are slinging mud even up through the final hours before Election Day. Max Rose not only votes lockstep with Nancy Pelosi in Washington, but he supports the policies that have made us less safe with Bill de Blasio here in New York City. People want to have law and order. They want to have a strong economy. They want to preserve the American dream. She has run a series of lies because she needs people to distract from her woeful record, supporting the Republican Party when they stood in opposition to additional aid to New York City. Whatever her party says for her to do, she gets right behind. Yeah, and again, a lot of voters out here early. They were here in the minutes leading up to the polls opening here in Bay Ridge. Again, Congressman Max Rose fighting for his seat here in New York's 11th congressional district. Now, this district includes Staten Island, which had percentage-wise the largest uh, early voter turnout, more than 30 percent, the largest amount statewide. Also, though, there's been tens of thousands of requested absentee ballots. Those will not be counted until a week from today, so it's very likely we might not know the results of this election tonight.